A new immigration requirement for green card applicants. This is scheduled to start next month. Those applicants will either need health insurance or prove they can get it. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez with the details. This could affect spouses, children, and parents that U.S. residents want to bring into the country. Experts say this new requirement could shift the demographic of legal immigrants. Manuel Cavazos came to the U.S. during the amnesty period in 1986. A few years ago, he brought his wife. I've done it. I've brought over my wife, but it wasn't very difficult then. That was about 12 years ago, and right now I'm not sure how it is. I think it's pretty hard. That process is changing. A proclamation issued by the president aims to reduce the $35 billion in hospital unreimbursed costs. It cites, notably, data show that lawful immigrants are about three times more likely than United States citizens to lack health insurance. Starting November 3rd, immigrants brought to the country will need to get health insurance 30 days after they arrive or prove they can afford it. That can have a wide-reaching effect. We estimate that this new health insurance proclamation could affect up to 375,000 immigrants. That's according to Julia Gillette. She's a senior policy analyst at the Migration Policy Institute, a nonpartisan think tank in D.C. These changes would mainly affect family-based immigrants from abroad, like a wife or child. Gillette says there's about 4 million green card petitioners just in the U.S. The new requirements could affect them and those not yet in the country. Basically anyone who hasn't been granted their visa by the Department of State to come to the U.S. and obtain a green card would be affected by this rule starting on November 3rd. Changes will not affect immigrants coming here with an employment offer that includes a health care option or those with relatives who could roll them into their private insurance. It will affect immigrants with low income. This concerns many who are familiar with the poverty levels in Mexico. Well, actually, that's why they're coming from Mexico, because of the economy. And then they want to get their insurance right away, but from where? They come suffering just to get here, so no, I don't know. While the new requirement is set to begin November 3rd, there's no implementation language. The Department of State will need to issue guidance to consular officers on how to implement this executive action. Gillette says there are two things to keep in mind. Expect legal challenges, and there are some health insurance options available to buy from abroad. That's the easiest path, but the quality of insurance varies. She recommends plenty of research before buying. Insurance through the Affordable Care Act or subsidies and tax credits available under it will not count. In the studio, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 10.